All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Terry here, and today I'm going to go over how to change the transmission fluid on your BMW Z3. So uh, let me go ahead and show you the products that we're going to use for fluids, as well as some quick tips on, for safety and uh, things of the sort. So let's get into it. I'm going to be using some Valvoline Synchro Mesh MTF fluid, and I will show you that this is compatible with my transmission. You're also going to want to put your car up on four jack stands. You want it completely raised, and it's very important that you also have it level. You'll see I have my level right here, and it's nice and it's level. So this is important, so that way you can properly get the transmission serviced. Now when you find yourself underneath the car, you're going to have directly on the basin is your drain plug and then off to the side is your fill plug. Now you're going to want to make sure you remove your fill plug first, you're, okay? And this is important because if something goes wrong and you're unable to get this off, maybe the bolt has been rounded off or, or it's been cross-threaded by a previous person, or just, if something goes wrong, you don't want to have to drain your transmission and then you're unable to go in and, and fill it. And these are the same size, so if once you get both of them out, if let's say the drain one is messed up, you can then use your fill plug to plug the bottom of your transmission and then take the uh, defective one in to a parts store and match it up so you can have a replacement uh, fill plug. You're going to need a 17 millimeter socket for this bottom one and you're going to want to uh, use a wrench for the fill plug it's too tight in here it, my hand just barely fits you're not going to be able to get a socket wrench in there so you're going to want to use an actual wrench so you'll see right there i have the uh the getter egg transmission and then there's usually a label it'll sometimes be directly on the bottom or on the side lines on the side and the labels will be different color depending on the type of transmission you have. Mine will be yellow. Again, I'll try my best for you to kind of be able to see it. It's right there. And you'll be able to kind of read it right there. It says that the, my transmission needs the MTF LT1 uh, fluid on here. All right. If you check your owner's manual, it's not a good place to find out. But BMW says that it has lifetime fluid, meaning that they're not expecting you to change the transmission fluid on it because most car owners are going to trade the car in within the first three years so they'll most likely not even hit the 50 to 75,000 miles or whatever that they are expecting the fluid to last so but if you are going to be keeping your car and you have 50,000 miles or more on it it is definitely recommended to do a fluid change on your transmission all right there are lots of different types of manufacturers that make uh, the different fluids that you're going to need. Now the BMW Long Life 1 type stuff is no longer being produced. Well, it is but it isn't. Basically they've moved on from that. Uh, you can still buy it, but you're, if you're going to buy it, still try to get that from BMW, it's going to be pricey. You're looking at easily $40 just for one quart of the stuff and that's that's pretty expensive so you don't have to go that route uh, there's different things out there you can go with red line uh, was it purple power I think is what it's called as well as a whole bunch of other uh, manufacturers I personally am a Valvoline user now I am not sponsored by Valvoline in any way but uh, I am a Valvoline user and I got their synchro mesh MTF uh, this is what I'm going to be putting in uh, in here today. Now, if you go and you check out like the Facebook groups and stuff like that, you're going to find a lot of guys highly recommend Redline. Go ahead and use that if you want to. I personally prefer to just stick with Valvoline products, so I'm going to be doing that. And always check your different ratings and things like that. Uh, and they'll have BMW part numbers right here on uh, the back of the bottle, so that way you know you're using the right stuff and I'll also show you there's a chart for Valvoline 
for those of you who may be purists when it comes to the Z3 and you want to tell me, how dare you use Valvoline? You must use Redline. You're going to ruin the car. <laughs> Calm down. All right. Here's a chart. Shows you what all the different products that Valvoline makes for transmissions. And if you look right here, you will see that here's the type of transmission I have. Here is the rating that we just read off of my sticker. And look at that. They recommend the Synchromesh, the MTF Synchromesh, which is what I got right here. So cool your jets. <laughs> All right, this stuff is perfectly fine to use, and it's significantly cheaper than a lot of the other performance-based products out there. I don't need high-performance products. I'm good with good old reliable Valvoline. So let's go ahead, and you should be, you'll need just shy of two quarts of your transmission fluid. So I got two bottles of this. You're also going to need a pump to pump it in through your fill plug and then you just fill it until it starts to come out and then you're good to go. So it's pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and get set up. And Oh, before you go underneath the vehicle, always put some eye protection on. All right, protect the eyes. You're going to need a cell 17 millimeter socket. Uh, you're possibly going to want an actual standard wrench because it, when it comes to the fill plug, it is pretty tight under there. Also have a torque wrench and things of that sort so you can make sure everything is torqued properly. All right, with that being said, let's drain it and all that good stuff. You may also want a breaker bar in case you can't get these loose because I'm pretty sure these have been on for 20 years in my case. So they're gonna be quite tight. All right, so let me go ahead and grab my breaker bar just to loosen it. 20 years of heat cycles, so really tighten this bad boy up. And I am cranking. I've already put WD-40 on it to loosen it. And I've, I did it a week prior and then I did it the day before. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. That was crazy. I had to put all my body weight into that bad boy. Oh, I'm happy I have a breaker bar, though. I never would have gotten it without a breaker bar. And then we got our fill plug. Okay, I am now going to attempt to get the drain plug. I got my drain pan directly underneath. Handy dandy breaker bar. Ah, there we go. Oh my God. Definitely want to make sure you have yourself a breaker bar, folks. It'll just make your life so much easier. Let's see if I can get it out by hand. Now I have 50, around 54,000 miles on the car and it's starting to not shift this smoothly. That's why I wanted to change this fluid. You're going to need a fluid pump with a hose to be able to put your new fluid in uh, because it's going to be so tight here that you're going to have a hard time trying to squeeze a bottle in here. So you're going to want to definitely have a hose with a pump. So let's go ahead and let this kind of drip for a little bit while I go ahead and get set up for that. All right, now that we're pretty much done getting all the fluid to come out, we'll go ahead and put the drain plug back in. All right, 
and we're going to want to torque that as well, but we'll just get it tight so it's not leaking, and we'll torque everything all at one time. As long as it's tight to where we won't have to worry about any of the new fluid leaking out, we should be set. Yeah, that's pretty tight. It's not going to leak. These are inexpensive. They're like $7, so I bought a couple of them. It'll say in and out on this one. This one's from Harbor Freight. So in is going to go inside my bottle, and then out will go inside the fill plug of the transmission, and then just torque everything down, and it's going to be 37 pound-feet, 37 pound-feet uh, to to properly torque your fill and drain plugs on the transmission. Now that is only for the manual transmission. Forgive me, I don't know the torque specs for the automatic, so please do your research to get the proper torque spec for the automatic. Go ahead and you're going to grab your hose and I'm going to kind of wrap mine between my exhaust so that way it kind of holds it. You see how it'll kind of pinch it and that way my hose won't fall back out. Because right now I'm not even holding it and it's staying in place. So then just go ahead and feed it into the where the fill plug came out. All right, we should be good there. And then the other end is going to go inside our bottle and we're just going to pump it in. And then keep your empty bottles because you can pump the old fluid into these to dispose of them at your local parts store. I wasn't paying attention because I had miscalculated how much I needed and so I actually had some spillage that I had to clean up uh, so it shows that I used up almost the full thing if you were to add another quarter of this to that uh, that's probably what spilled out on me so about a about a quarter and a half to be more accurate so just be extra careful when you get to the second bottle and just watch pump extra slow and then just watch for when it starts to to uh, come out so that way uh, you don't end up with a big spill like I did. But uh, there you go. I made a mistake, so you don't have to. All right, so uh, I got that pretty much cleaned up. Uh, you put in your fill plug once it starts to come out, and then you go ahead and, you know, clean it off and then torque everything down. So I'm going to go back underneath there and torque it. And once again, that's 37 uh, pound-feet for the manual transmissions. All right. Since my leverage was better for that one going up and down versus side to side, I was able to get that one a lot faster. All right, so now that is done, we can go ahead and just clean everything up. All right, there you have it. That's how you go ahead and do a transmission fluid change on the BMW Z3. Uh, I hope this was helpful to you. Once again, just keep in mind, just do your research, check the label on your transmission so you know what kind of fluid type you need to put in there, and then research which brands you want to use, as well as find out your torque specs, the manual transmissions. But uh, thanks again for watching that. I hope that was helpful. Another great big tip, I'm going to be making another video for how to change the gear oil in the rear diff. Whenever you change your transmission fluid, it's always recommended to do the rear differential as well. So that's going to be on my next video. 
So make sure you check that out so you can knock out both of the services while your car is up on the jack stands. Thank you again for watching. Give my video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe, tell your friends, check out my Instagram at CoolCatTerry. And I gotta go because this landscaper is too loud. So thank you guys. I'll catch you next time. Bye.